biggest challenge for him is going to be controlling his nerves and controlling his emotions, uh, putting him in, and putting himself in a position where he can just play golf and kind of relax. Uh, it's easier said than done. Everybody goes, uh, just just go up there and have fun and enjoy yourself. But um, it's not quite that easy. As a competitor, you want to be competitive, and um, you know he's not a not a principal factor in this event unless he happens to play great the first couple of days. Uh, but as a competitor, you go into that thing thinking that you are. Um, and um, I know he wants to play well and, and uh, get in the limelight a little bit. Um, but in reality, the, the most important thing he can do is somehow, some way, just relax and, and just play T.J. Vogel golf. And he'll make the cut and he'll do just fine. You know, I don't really uh, have any expectations uh, of or for him. Um, it's his event, and um, you know I hope that he will have an enjoyable experience. I mean, you, he will ultimately have an incredibly enjoyable experience because at the end of the day, he's going to look back on it uh, with very, very fond memories, even if he doesn't play as well as he'd like. Um, but for me personally, you know, I, I just want him to to have those uh, have that enjoyable experience immediately. He, it, typically, he's just said like, "Man, you were right about this, or you're right about that," and uh, you know, we've talked about you know how to play different holes and different different shots, and you know, I mean, I ask him questions, you know, knowing the answer most of the time uh, before he answers, um, uh, just to kind of reemphasize a point that I might have mentioned earlier uh, to make sure he caught it. Every, every golfer's dream is to play. Uh, Augusta National, you know, I think along with making a hole in one, I might be number two on everybody's list uh, because it's so exclusive. And, and uh, so, um, you know, that was probably the first step is to be able to go up there and, and actually play. Uh, and then, you know, since then, uh, you know, he's been up uh, several times, so, um, you know, that, that's take, taken in stride at this point. I've probably played about 13 or 14 rounds. Um, and I'm starting to feel really comfortable. Um, sets up really, really well for me off the tee. A lot of shots play for a little draw, and that's my favorite shot. So feeling really good, tee to green. It's all about learning about the greens. The greens are really fast and slopey. So um, the better I can, or the more I can, you know, learn from the pros up there when I start playing practice rounds with them and uh, just ask questions and get their feedback because they've been. I'm very hard on myself. I'm kind of a perfectionist. So I like to play well, but I'm actually going to try to just have fun. That's my only goal. I mean, to be able to play in the matches as an amateur is, you know, it's an accomplishment. Um, just, I'm just going to enjoy the experience. So if I play well, great. If not, then I'm still going to try to, you know, have the best time that I can. I mean, how can you not enjoy playing the Masters as an amateur? Um, and that's kind of my mindset right now. I'm just going to have fun. I was kind of really nervous um, initially talking with him. Uh, but then he's actually kind of a funny and sarcastic dude. And, um, well, like, really what did you say? Like, he walked up and said, well, I was just like, I just want to introduce myself. Um, one of the amateurs playing the tournament. And he was real sincere. He's like, congratulations. That's such an amazing accomplishment. And then I was like, you know, we have the same birthday. It's kind of destiny that we um, are meeting here at Augusta National. <laughs> he didn't say that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, you told uh, him it was destiny to, to meet him. Huh? I, guess, <laughs> oh, I mean, we had the same birthday, play golf. And then we started naming... Um, you know, all the famous people like LeBron James and all the different people that uh, share our birthday. So it was really cool. It was actually, a, I didn't really ask him anything about golf. Um, just kind of wanted to introduce myself and meet him. Just, I guess, you know, playing on golf's biggest stage. I mean, this is the biggest tournament in the world. And uh, I think that's, I just want to have fun with my family and my friends and um, be able to see how I can perform right now under pressure, under that type of circumstances, I think that's kind of the biggest thing. I mean, you obviously got to get to a certain point on the PGA Tour, but kind of this could be, you know, kind of a measuring stick for where I am at. I'm about to turn pro, so we'll see how, how good I am, I guess. <laughs>